All right, now, um, do you Twitter? Do you tweet? Do you send... Do you know, funnily enough, the we... The sports department's supposed to be tweeting, well, we, aren't they? Well, we are, but I, you know, I, I shouldn't admit this probably, but I find it quite difficult to do, but I have to say, I did tweet about ten minutes before we Good. came off to say, Good. oh, by the way, tonight on Saturday well, in the sport... Well, I'm glad you're not doing it now, because to tweet <laughs> or not to tweet, that's the question being posed at Brighton and Hove City Council, because apparently some councillors want to pull the plug on their colleagues because they're tweeting during the council so meetings. This meeting's really boring, yeah, I, I was saying, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't know whether it's that or whether it's genuine, but some people obviously don't like it. So is it a good way of engaging people in debate, or is it just plain rude? Sean Killick has been to find out. It was a row at the latest city council meeting that sent feathers flying among the Twitterers. The council's meetings are viewable online. And this is the point where councillor Jason Kitkat clashed with the mayor over a decision not to debate councillors' allowances. Point of order, Madam Mayor. Um, I, th I think you actually have... No, I have an absolute right under the Constitution to make a point of order, Madam Mayor. And it is very clear... Is it a procedural matter, Councillor Kitkat? Is it a procedural matter? I'm making a point of order and the Constitution allows me that right. Moments later, while still in the meeting, Councillor Kitkat posted a comment on Twitter saying there had been an appalling abuse of council procedure. And he went on to accuse another councillor of not answering questions. But the tweeting hadn't gone unnoticed. I am talking slowly, Madam Mayor, because Councillor Kit Kat has already tweeted on this and I need to make sure he gets the words right. Now the council, which ironically has its own Twitter page, is to consider whether councillors will be allowed to tweet during meetings in future. The fact that they don't choose to make their comments to the chamber, but choose to do them on Twitter, which Perhaps other uh, councillors would have liked to respond to and they're not given the opportunity. It is reaching a bunch of people that I feel I wasn't reaching any other way. Um, and I've had a great response from it, great feedback, because not everyone is able to attend the meeting, not everyone's even able to watch the webcast. The debate is sure to continue both in the chamber and on the net. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Brighton. <laughs> you see? That's interesting, isn't it? You know, some people like it, some people don't. Peter Henley, of course, uh, twitters a lot. You can mm. follow him. And uh, he tells me, actually, the MPs do it in the House of Commons. Well, they're you know, the because there's, you know, it, well, no, if they're <laughs> sending a message, you want it immediate. That's yeah, the whole point do. of it, isn't it? It's immediacy. Yeah, uh, we, we, we Twitter and weather, don't we? We do, yes.